In this video for Cricut Design Space for Beginners, we're going to go over the toolbar. And this is what I call the toolbar. Again, as you guys know, or may not know, I design in um, Inkscape. So I don't watch Cricut Design Space videos. I don't really know what they call this. This I know this is the layers panel, but this is what I call the toolbar. So um, let me go ahead and select all of this and get rid of this. And the first thing you have is a new project. Of course, I'm already in a new project. So if I undo this and I click on new project, it's going to tell me that a project already exists on the canvas that was unsaved. Do you wish to save your previous project or replace it with a new project? So I'm going to replace it. All right. And then the next thing you have are templates. And um, you can search by home decor uh, or all home decor, fashion, gear. Um, and you can also search here. So if I were to search uh, baby onesies and hit enter, there's nothing there. Um, if I was to um, type in frames, and there's a couple frames there. Let's check that off. Um, so let me choose a template. And it says templates are not intended or are intended for reference only and will not be saved with your project. Okay. So let me zoom out here a little bit. And I can shut that off over here in the layers panel on the right hand side down at the bottom is um, my canvas. It tells me that these are athletic shorts and I can turn that off if I want or when I want. Okay. I can, I also have some options up here. I have women's knee length and women's short. Okay. I also have um, a custom size, small, medium, large, and extra large. Okay. So this is basically just a template. If I wanted to um, type out Detroit. Uh, let's do it all in caps though. <clears throat> and let's go to advanced and ungroup the letters. And let's say I wanted to put these down the front. Like this. It just gives you um, a template to um, give you some kind of idea how big to make your letters. And as you can see, that's far too big. So let me go ahead and shrink that down. And I'll move this back over here. Now I can select all of that. I can go to arrange and I'll align it to, well, actually I'll align it to the center and then I'm going to, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Uh, I guess I will select them all and align them left. And then I will distribute them vertically so that the spaces are even in between. Now I'm going to have to do a little adjusting here. Um, but anyway, that's what your template is for. It's just kind of a, a visual, if you want to say that. Okay, so let me just go ahead and turn that off. And then the next thing you have is projects. Now these are all the Make It Now projects, which I've already gone over. Here are all your categories. Um, and here's your search bar here. And then you have images. Now, these are all the Cricut images, okay? And there's a lot of them, all right? So to, um, well, first of all, uh, these little green A's are, if you're an Access member, um, these are free for you. I am not, so everything pretty much cost me 99 cents. There is some free stuff. Um, uh, so let's go to categories here. And 
you have featured and then you have achievement, animals, wildlife, all these, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> you have holidays, um, you know, and then you have cartridges. Um, if, okay, these are all um, the cartridges. Let's just click on this one. Now, I can buy these individually. There's 115 images on this cartridge. I can buy this cartridge for $29.99, or I can just buy the individual images that I want if I want them. So let's say I want to use this bird. Actually, this one's cuter. And I put them in here, and then I go ahead and I design some text around them or um, make a card or whatever, and then I go to make it. Um, I'm not going to be able to cut it until I purchase it down here on the bottom right-hand side. Okay. Um, but these, again, are all um, already made up for you, ready to cut out. Uh, you have all of your bats. Really, all you have to do is size this the size that you want it and go ahead and go to make it, okay? Um, if you decide that, um, let's go ahead and ungroup this. And let's shut this off. And... Okay, I can't shut I can't shut this off to keep it from printing unless I cut I'm sorry, unless I shut off the bird. Okay. Uh one way to get around that would be to take a shape. Uh I guess I'll use a circle and put that over top of that black part. And then I'm gonna duplicate it because I'm gonna need another one. And I'll put it over, I need to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now I can select that circle and go back down here, hold my shift key and select this layer here. Um, and I should, maybe it was this one. Um, I guess I'm going to have to move all this off of it so I can select it. Select this, hold my shift key, select that, and slice. Mm -hmm. See, so then I would select this one, hold the shift key, select this one, and slice. And then I can go ahead and get rid of all of this. And I'm left with the bird and the pieces to the bird. This is actually going to have to go to the back. Okay. And so now I no longer have that. It's not here. Um, it shows here, but this is shut off anyway, so it's not going to cut. Um, but that's how you can get rid of part of an image if you don't want it. Um, so let me go ahead and start another video because, um, the text is shapes and upload is going to take, um, longer than the four minutes or so that I have left. Um, so that's pretty much it. Templates, projects, or make it now, images our Cricut images. Um, I didn't go through that completely. Um, so here are all your cartridges. I explained that. You can view all of the 12 images. These are free. Um, you can purchase it. Uh, you can search for, I don't know, happy birthday. And 
all the happy birthday stuff will come up or happy even I saw some Halloween stuff so it must be happy Halloween um, you can filter by your cartridges what's free Cricut access or what you have purchased okay um, and then if I go back to images this here you can click on them and to see more on one page or you can click on it to make them bigger so that you can um, see them better if you have old eyes like I do <laughs> all right so let's um, end this video and we'll go on to the next one so thanks for watching join me in the next video